Hey guys, welcome back. It's Joey again. You're watching Vegas D Tech. I got another good one for you today. Uh, I had a subscriber contact me on uh, Messenger and he was asking me some questions about, hey man, do you know anything about this uh, terrorist attack that happened out there uh, in Las Vegas? And I'm like, in Vegas? I said, I, I've read about some uh, terrorist attacks that have been happening on power plants in North Carolina and up in the Pacific Northwest. But he specifically said, no, they're trying to black it out. But it happened in Las Vegas, and I'm like, wow, that's really crazy because I haven't really seen much of anything that had to do with a transformer attack by some terrorists in Las Vegas. And if it did come out, it came out really quick and it was gone because as I started searching for it on uh, the Internet, I kept on getting this logo saying that, you know, no video to be found. So I don't know if it was taken down. They don't want to get uh, national media attention. I don't know what the situation is, but we're seeing more and more of this stuff happen right here uh, across the United States. And it just seems like people are just trying to attack our uh, uh, power grid uh, as a way of dismantling uh, the way we get power and interrupting our lifestyle and our flow of uh, life here in America. But I couldn't believe that this happened here in Vegas because, like I said, I never got any news on it. And I just went ahead and I found some uh, agencies one was called uh, jihadwatch.org the other one was called the uh, liberty beacon and then the gulf insider and uh, this one right here came from uh the uh, jihadwatch.org it says that las vegas muslim faces terror charge after causing uh, major damage to a solar plant now here's how the story goes guys i'm gonna read off a little bit that i'm gonna give you the actual uh, report that i saw from the news it said that uh, a man is facing terror related charges after police said that he rammed his car through a gate at a solar plant outside of Las Vegas and set his car on fire, uh, disabling the huge facility. Okay, and he says that around 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday, Las Vegas, Metro Police responded to a solar plant on US 93 north of Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Sources told the 8 News Now, employees at the plant said they found a car smoldering in a generator pit, a transformer generator pit. It said the mega solar array provides energy to MGM properties, but is run by a property called Inven Invenergy. All right. The driver was later identified as a man named Mohammed Mismarian, who is 34 years old. He's accused of ramming through a fence and then setting his car on fire. Uh, this car is registered out of Idaho. That's according to the documents. OK, so basically this guy on Tuesday, he rams his car through the gate. Nobody comes out. OK, because nobody was apparently in the plant working and he's just chilling out like nobody, nobody even came out here to look at the car. So he waited till was it 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning and then he went ahead and took the car and he drove it into one of the uh, transformer pits. Cars halfway in it and then he siphons gas out of his car. And then he takes that gas and he pours it all over his car, pours it all over the, the wiring conduit and the generators themselves, then catches it on fire. Then he pulls out a lawn chair and he sits back and he watches this stuff burn for a few hours. Nobody comes. And then he just proceeds to walk away. All right. And then it seems that on Thursday, the very next day, this guy went out to Lake Mead and he went over to the uh, Boulder Beach camp area and then he was apprehended there. Who knows why or why he chose to go out to Lake Mead. But that's the case. But anyways, back on this report, it said that uh, Ms. Marion reportedly watched the car burn sitting in a chair for about 15 minutes. Like who sets fire to a power plant and then just sits there in a chair and just watches it burn? Like, do you want to get caught? Do you, is this some, is this something that he just wanted to do for attention? I have no idea. Uh, and it says investigators found an iPhone in the car that was burnt with an account connected to him. Document said and police also found two laptops. Um, like I said, he was found at the campground on Thursday, uh, a day after he set the fire at Boulder Beach in Lake Mead. Uh, it was unclear how Ms. Marion made it from the solar site to Boulder City, which is a 30 mile drive. Um, Ms. Marion clarified he burned his Toyota Camry a couple of days ago. Police said Ms. Marion said that he burnt the vehicle at a Tesla solar power plant and did it for the future. I don't, th I don't know if this guy was confused or whatever, but that was not a Tesla power plant. It was just a solar power array that provides power to some strip resorts. It wasn't even online yet, so he got his intel completely wrong. But anyways, guys, here's the actual news uh, clipping of it. Take a look at this and tell me what you guys think.
For eight News Now investigators obtaining exclusive photos of a reported act of terrorism at a solar facility in north of Las Vegas. That facility providing clean energy to us right here in the valley. And thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. Police say this incident took that massive facility offline. 8 News Now investigator David Sharns with the exclusive photos tonight. David. Yeah, Brian Denise, with recent incidents at power generating facilities all across our country, you can understand why Metro Police and the FBI took this so seriously. We've confirmed this man from Idaho was in town for New Year's. Now he's not leaving anytime soon as he's facing terror related charges. Photos the A News Now investigators obtained show the burnt car police suspect a man set on fire inside a Las Vegas area solar facility. The giant array producing energy for MGM, generating power for its strip properties. Police believe 34 year old Mohammed Mesmarian, seen in these surveillance images, rammed the car through the gates at the plant Tuesday afternoon. Around midnight Wednesday, Mesmarian allegedly drove that car into this pit, siphoning gasoline onto wires and and setting the vehicle on fire. Police say Ms. Marion then sat in a chair watching the car burn. Detectives believe Ms. Marion was scoping the site for at least a day. A nearby business calling police saying a man later identified as Ms. Marion was trespassing. Officers say Ms. Marion reportedly told them he was born in Iran, works odd jobs, and was in town with his mother. On Thursday, a day now after the fire at the facility, police found Ms. Marion at a Boulder Beach campground and took him into custody. They say he attempted to run away from them twice. Next is Mohammed Mesmarian. Mesmarian was reportedly disruptive before his first court hearing Friday and did not appear. The judge ordering him held without bail. Now, according to those documents, the fire caused some major damage to one unit there, taking this entire facility offline. Again, that is according to police. A spokesperson for the company that runs this plant says they are working to get it back online. I'm David Sharns, 8 News Now. And David, a final All right, guys, so there you have it, man. You know, just quick, fast, and easy. Not going to take up too much of your time. I'm just uh, processing information as soon as I get it. Uh, I didn't even know how I would even incorporate this into my channel. Being you know, it is Vegas D Tech, and normally we do deal with the lake, but I mean, this guy ran off and he got apprehended at Lake Mead at the campground that was out there. And I found that pretty astonishing, being that it's a 30 mile ride. And uh, how does a guy come from Idaho, supposedly comes down from Idaho uh, for the New Year's for the New Year's weekend? And this decides when he comes out of here, he just decides at the last minute, eh, I'm going to go blow up a power plant, right? And and he smashes his car out there and then just sits out there and just watches it burn and then decides to walk away all nonchalant. Nobody even nobody even came out there because nobody was there. And uh, he goes out and just chills out and pops a brewski over at the uh, Lake Mead campground and then gets, a it gets apprehended out there by uh, NPS, you know, rangers and so forth. So you guys tell me, I'm seeing more and more of this stuff get reported that all around America here that our power grid is being attacked by people. Like, I don't know that, you know, it's not making media, you know, like national media news. And I don't know if it's because they don't want to uh, alarm people and let them know what's going on. But it's not just Vegas, man. Like I said, I've seen this situation. I've read ab about this happening in like North Carolina. I've seen it happening up north uh, in in uh, in the Wash in Washington area. And then all of a sudden, it happens out here in Vegas. But I mean, other than a quick little news flash right here, I haven't heard nothing of it. And it just seems like it's being blacked out. And I don't know why that is, man. If you guys have any comments as to why you think that's happening, hey, man, feel free. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up, man, nice and quick. I just wanted to give you guys this information. I thank you guys so much for joining me here again. If you guys uh, like this type of uh, reporting, please do me a kindness, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be updated to future videos that I have that will be coming out soon so that I can appease this uh, YouTube algorithm and uh, stay current with you guys okay so anyways guys thank you very very much for uh, tuning in again i'm joey you're watching vegas d tech another video coming up soon you guys be well take care now